My prediction for the Monaco Grand Prix. Alright, let's change it up. Let's start with surprise of the weekend. I am going with for the weekend. I'm going with Fernando Alonso. He had a very shocking race in out in Imola. His worst his worst result. His worst result that he finished. Of course here last year he put in a great P2 performance. Do I think he'll get P2? No. I don't see it happening. I don't really think it happened around Monaco, to be honest. And it is Fernando Alonso. But I just think he'd be back to normal. Like, I think he'd be out of this. I think he'd get into Q3. I think he'd be out of this, like, weird streak thing. I just think the man will be back to normal. I won't feel like he would get a podium or anything. Cause that's just way too insane, that car. But yeah, now let's go to Sir Flop of the Weekend. I'm sorry, but Flop of the Weekend, I'm going Sergio Perez. I'm sorry. Here last year is Ricky Choke had that massive accident in Q1. I just think it's not going to be a very good weekend because I just think other drivers are going to be stronger. And Perez, he may find the wall maybe once or twice, I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm just trying not to put Leclerc anywhere on these lists. Because <laughs> I'm either losing or gaining points. I'm going to go to pole position now. No, I'll keep off the max. I'm not going to clear it. I'll go Lando. For pole. Lando Norris is going to get pole for the Monaco Grand Prix. This is probably going to be so wrong. Have I even gone Lando for pole this, this entire season? I don't think so. So yeah, I think Lando Norris is going to get pole position in Monaco. He's good around Monaco. It's kind of like Katar Lee Emil. He's good around here. He's gotten podiums here in the past. 2021. He's gotten a podium. Can't remember if he did in 2020. No, he didn't. I don't think he got a podium in 2022. He might have, but I don't know. Yeah, that McLaren should be good around here, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go to the top three now. Third place, unfortunately. I've gone for Charles Leclerc. I don't think he's going to win. Be mostly just because I don't want to look bad when he spins it in the wall on the first lap. But I think he'll get his first podium. I think he will break the Monaco curse. I think he's gonna break that curse. Cause last year he technically just didn't wasn't really pace and without the rain, Leclerc actually was not having a bad race. Like he didn't hit the barriers or anything. It was for P2. P2 I've come with Max Verstappen. Yeah, I don't think Max is gonna win this one. Well, it's all gonna be, you know, basically who qualifies the best. But that's still the mean they say if you're slow off the start you can really get Overtaken at the start, and that could be it. But yeah, watch, watch everyone laugh at me. I see Max is gonna get P2. But that's just me. P1 is gonna be Lando Norris. I think Lando's gonna win the race. That McLaren should have technically have a good pace around here. I'm probably gonna get laughed at when the race is over. Or I could be a freaking genius. But yeah, I think Lando's gonna win. He's gonna get his second win of season. He almost won the last race. Yeah, I just think he's gonna win. That's probably the worst excuse I've ever said, to be honest. To be honest. Alright, now for a crazy prediction. I'm say, I'm gonna say no one hits the barrier this weekend. Cause although we have strong Sergeant and Magnuson still, you realize which is kinda unfortunate. There's not really too much crashes because we don't have a rookie to deal with. Like Sergeant isn't really crashing anymore, he's just being slow. Like we don't really have too many people. We don't, we don't really have people crashing the race. I missed twenty there. We had Latifi, Mazepin. We had two people who could like bin it every race, but now we don't really have anyone binning it to be honest. So basically, what happens is just like if someone's tire is off properly or something that they retire. Bad. This is Monaco. So that's why the crazy prediction. Cause how does somebody go around and not touch the wall? That's like near impossible. Well, those are my crazy predict. Those are my predictions. Some of them are crazy. I try not to go overboard with Charles Leclerc every time because I know like, half of those probably won't even come through. I don't want to be too embarrassed. Yeah, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I can't wait. It's the Monaco Grand Prix. I'm literally going to another motorsport event, but I'll still be able to watch the Grand Prix on Sunday. While well, being at another motorsport event, you'll love to see it. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.